everybody, it's Mandy from Mandy Jean Cheek. I'm going to film, I want to start doing my favorites weekly instead of monthly because, or maybe bi-weekly, because I normally have a lot of stuff that I enjoy during the week and then I put it back and then I forget to show it to you guys. So I went ahead and pulled out everything that I was loving this week. The eye look I was loving, the foundation, the primer, the nails. Yeah, pretty much it. But the first thing that I've been like obsessed with this month and I actually like it better than my big sexy hair is the Mark Hill Gorgeous Fabulous Finish Hairspray. I got this at Walgreens and what I love about it is I can spray my hair and it allows me to keep the texture that I like and the messiness I guess of it without it getting too stiff. Uh, when I walk outside my hair can still blow in the wind. It's great. I love this hairspray so much. Again, it's the Mark Hill Gorgeous Fabulous Finish Hairspray. Tell your hair who's boss and keep your style exactly where you want it. I freaking love this hairspray. The next thing that I've been obsessed with this week, <laughs> buying a bunch of new brushes. Now I can just spot clean them and do a deep clean like once a week or once every two weeks now that I have more brushes. So I've been enjoying my MAC brush cleaner again. Seriously, like... This brush cleaner is so great to use because it breaks down the oils, it cleans the brushes, um, it doesn't harm your bristles. It is such a nice brush cleaner. How I actually use it is, back. <laughs> I put in a little spray bottle and my friend Lynette does the same thing, which is hysterical. She actually is the one when I watched her favorites video when she showed this, I was like, I've been loving that too. So it kind of made me remember that it's actually kind of a fave this week rather than something I just use all the time. I go through probably a bottle of this brush cleaner. Depending on how much you do makeup. If I do makeup every single day, I could go through a bottle of this every month, two months. But um, you also can cut it with water. But I just use a full strength because I want it to be, it's antibacterial. I just want it to clean my brushes. So, and it's not all that expensive. The next thing I've been loving this month, and this is the new packaging, is Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I can't live without this stuff. Um, I thought I could and I couldn't. Uh, as soon as I was out of it, I ran to Mac and bought it. I I just... Holy wind blow, Batman. I just, this is like my favorite finishing mist ever. It just feels so good on the face. It's so hydrating. It ugh, does not taste very good. But I, I use this on my hair. Um, mm. I love this stuff. The next thing I've been loving this past week is I've only painted my nails once. And it was the Pacifica 7 Free Nail Color. It's cruelty free in red, red wine. I can't remember if I got this in my Ipsy bag or my Beauty Box 5. I think it was my Beauty Box 5. Um, beautiful, like deep red color. Um, it lasted on my nails for quite a few days. It's just a basic nail polish. I mean, there's nothing super duper duper fancy about it. Uh, this color is, is highly dupable, but I just, this is the one I had and I liked it, so. I went back to, <laughs> I get bored with face powders, which is why I have so many of them. And I was watching a declutter video on YouTube and a girl was talking about this powder and I was like, oh yeah, I have this powder, I love this powder, let's break it back out. So I've been loving my NARS translucent crystal it's the light reflecting setting powder it is a white powder but gosh I mean it is just such a great powder my skin looks so flawless when I use it it does it's great for oil control I use it with this Sonia Kashuk brush from all that jazz collection I just dip it in there tap it off and just blot it oh I love this I love this brush with this powder actually I guess they should be like a favorite together um, I do not, under any circumstances, like the pressed version of this. The pressed version of this is a huge waste of money in my opinion because you have to like scrape a film off and it sucks. I would only buy the loose powder version. And I also think the loose powder version does a better job of oil control versus the pressed powder. The pressed powder, you know, you have to get through that film, but then, you know, you have to work it into the skin and it's already full of like binders and things like that where this is strictly just the powder. So. I love loose powder. As far as the primer has been going, I've been using this and I like it, but it does make me a little oily after a while, but 
how it fills my pores, totally like I'll forget for that. And it is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Porifying Primer. I got this in an Ipsy or Beauty Box 5. It says, oily and combination skin, instant mattifying pore refiner. Apply o under or over makeup and throughout the day as needed. I've never applied it over makeup. I've only applied it under makeup. But I do get a teeny bit oily with this. But I, it like, I want to do a video comparing this to a couple of the other pore, like the Professional, the NYX Pore Filler, and the ALF one. So you guys can see how they stack up against each other. This is expensive. I think this is like $38 for the regular size tube. But honestly, I'm like kind of thinking about buying it because I like it that much. Now, the, the foundation I've been wearing all week, um, I've actually been wearing this all month, is the MAC Face and Body in the color N1. <laughs> what I love about this foundation is with if I pair it with this, it is a little too dewy, so that's when I use a setting powder and it's fine. Um, it gives you a nice dewy finish and it's not overly matte. It doesn't make your face look flat. You get a beautiful like lit within glow. I freaking love this um, foundation. I actually also have this in the clear version, or not the clear version, the white version, because when I have foundations that are too dark for me, I just put in a little bit of the white of this and it doesn't... It actually makes the foundation better if it's from the drugstore, I swear. Maybe I'll do a video about how I use that foundation because um, it's a great investment. I also bought, this one is like my perfect shade, but I have N1, N2, and a few more colors that are in my kit actually because they're just so great for mixing and this foundation works on a lot of different people. So Now I have three more categories, well four if you count this. The lip combo I've been loving this month has been Viva Glam Rihanna 2, the lipstick and the lip gloss. The I know a lot of people were like looking at the lipstick and they're like, oh no, it's it's it'll never work on me. I don't like it. Seriously, this lipstick is based off of what lip liner you have. It's a frost, so it will go over anything and it will totally transform your look. This is the actual lipstick itself. I mean, and you can kind of see where it's you know, can look a little intimidating, a little brown, but it is so pretty. It just gives such a nice sheen to it. Get this to focus here. Focus camera. Right there. It feels great. I have it on today with the, I have Vino Lip Liner, Viva Glam Rihanna 2 Lipstick, and uh, Viva Glam Rihanna 2 Lip Gloss. But what I love about the lip gloss if you don't have this, you need to order it online before it's gone. I think they only keep these for a year. My Mac stores have been sold out. They're not getting it, so I had to order it online. It is so pretty. It is like a lavender with glitter. It is just, oh. There it goes. Isn't that pretty? Like, I love this lip gloss. I'll show it to you by itself and then I'll show it to you over Viva Glam Rihanna 2. That is Viva Glam Rihanna 2 lip gloss by itself. Isn't that pretty? Now here it is over the lipstick. And this is where the magic happens. <laughs> so corny for me to say that. But it is just, oh, I, I love this lip combo so much. My girl um, Chona at Mac at Dillard's in Cottonwood was trying to talk me into this when they had them and I was like, oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm so glad she did. But that is with the lip gloss over it. I just, I'm like in love with that, with this combo. Like, I've been wearing it nonstop this week. I've actually been loving wearing it with like plum colors, shirts. Ugh. Now the eye look I've been wearing a lot this week, actually this last two weeks, has been Max Paint Pot in Antique Diamond and Limited Edition Eyeshadow, Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in Silver Sun. I, I've talked about Antique Diamond so many times on my channel um, and on my blog. It's one of my favorite colors. My friend Ricky talked me into it. I'm so glad he did because it is just so pretty. Um, so creamy. I love MAC Paint Pots. They are just the best to me. I actually wear this by itself all the time. But that is Antique Diamond. That's Antique Diamond. 
it is just so beautiful. Now, <laughs> again, I wear this by itself all the time. Love it. Get many compliments on it. It looks beautiful. Blue eyes, brown eyes. Almost a purple eyes. But <laughs> how I kick it up is... This is from the Aquatic Collection. The only other shadow that I found that is similar to this is Green Smoke by MAC. And I'll show that to you because, you know, of course I have that too. There we go. And this is Silver Sun. This is an extra dimension eyeshadow. Beautiful shimmer. I just... The extra dimension shadows are my favorite shadows from MAC. When they come out with extra dimension shadows, I normally buy them all. But this is Silvering Sun. It is just beautiful. Now, the one that's fairly similar to it is Green Smoke. And that is right here. It's not a dupe at all, but it is very similar. This one is more green, where green smoke is actually, believe it or not, more like a gray. But, I mean, you can achieve a very similar look with green smoke if you don't have Silver Sun. That is green smoke, Silver Sun, and Antique Diamond. What I like to do, and you can kind of see where green smoke is darker. But what I like to do is I like to take Antique Diamond and then put green, green Smoke or Silver Sun on top of it. Oh! So pretty! Like, that, that's been like my favorite eye look for over a week now. I have two more things to show you guys. I have two blushes and a candle. I've been loving kind of the darker blushes for fall and these both are limited edition so I don't know if you're able to find them or not. But the first one is Animal Instinct, which is just a beautiful plum. This is a frost, so it has a little bit of sheen to it. It's right here. It's Animal Instinct. So pretty, so great for fall. You guys know how much I love MAC blushes. The other one is from the Novel Collection, and it's called Worldly Wealth. I almost didn't buy it, so I was like, whoa, that looks kind of brown. But it's actually more of like a reddish coppery brown. And I haven't been using it as a blush as much as I've been using it as an eyeshadow. But that is Worldly Wealth. Um, if you can still get either one of these blushes, I highly recommend them. They are great. Worldly Wealth is also a frost. The candle that I've been burning nonstop has been Tailgate by Bath & Body Works. Um, it just, it smells like Michigan State football to me. It smells like leather. It has like a musky smell. It is just, oh, it smells so good. I actually want to go back and see if I can find a couple of the three wick candles because I'll burn this all year long. I don't care. It just smells so good. So again, it's tailgate. Um, I've been enjoying tailgate and I've been burning sweater weather a lot because, you know, it's fall and it's getting colder. So, but I hope you enjoyed my weekly favorites. I'm going to try to do this every single week now so I can share the products every week or maybe every other week. So I can show you, share the products with you guys that I've been loving um, because the stuff that I love changes all the time. I mean, I get bored and then I'll move on to something else. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! The oh. reason why I went with the, with the T5i versus the T3i is...